everybody. Welcome back to Just Shy. I am shy the person, not the adjective. And today I'm bringing you a collective haul of proxy stuff. So as we all know, um, Neokio unfortunately was forced to stop being able to proxy for Mercari Japan, which the saddest thing ever. So I needed to find some new proxies for Mercari Japan just because I don't really use Bai. The fees are just so, so, so high. Like $5 for every single item. It's just too much for me. You guys know how much stuff I buy. So I was like, okay, we need to find a new proxy. So this is actually an Instagram proxy. This is not from Mercari Japan. This is actually from Shopee. So this is everything I bought on Shopee which um, Shopee Indonesia, if you're wondering, there's like four different Shopees in like China and Singapore and whatever, whatever. This is from Shopee Indonesia and a couple of things from Bunjang, which is like the Mercari of Korea, <laughs> but like worse. <laughs> Just gonna put that out there, but worse. So this is going to be the first clip in this proxy haul. I have this very cute knife. Yes, I said berry with a B because it's a strawberry. No, I do not regret that pun. Thank you, best friend who gifted this to me for my birthday. I love it. So let's see what I bought because I don't recall. <laughs> so I do know one thing that's going to be in here. I'm super excited for. Let's get him out first. So the first thing I bought <laughs> is this young tea plushie. He is so cute. He's so cute. Let's get him out of here. Oh my gosh, he's so soft. I love him. He's so cute. So, um, as you guys know, I recently started collecting Cravity, and they came out with this Sea Crew doll merch. And typically, I don't buy merch for, you know, my non olds and pops and things like that. But this was just so, so cute. It did come with a photo card. I think it's somewhere in there. But like when this merch dropped, I was like, I need this. So I did buy Young T. He is a keychain, but like he's kind of huge. So I don't know what, what I would ever, what kind of keys I would ever hang him off of. But oh my gosh, I love him so much. He's so, look at his little, I can't. Okay. okay. Oh, there's a, there's a, oh, 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 shy. Oh, shy. Okay. So these two people are who I, um, do my proxying from for Indonesia and for Brunjong. So her name is Becca has too many biases. One S if you're ordering from Korea, two S's if you're ordering from Indonesia, and then the US Gom who she ships everything to and then it gets distributed to all of us who live in the States is 1001 Mark. I think that is, I don't know. It used to be like something else. I don't know. But here is their business card. So I will be sending them proof photos later. So let me set these to the side. Okay, this is clearly like a mound of cards. We're going, we're going to get to that. <laughs> Let's do this first because I, I don't know what postcards I ordered. Let me use this very cute knife. Yes, I'm going to continue to call it that. So sorry, not sorry. I love it. Look how well it slices. Very nice. Okay, I won't do that. <laughs> I will apologize for that mini. Oh, speaking of my friend and the very cute knife. Hold on. So this is her Minhyuk set. Actually, I'm going to look at it. Friend, you don't mind if I look at it, right? I'm going to look at it. <laughs> she doesn't care. <laughs> so she found this Minhyuk champion set in Indonesia. And she was like, shy. Hi, Ki. I need that. And I was like, I got you. So let me carefully like they sent the envelope and everything wow wow okay let me see Minhyaki. oh oh my gosh oh Nore. oh so cute oh that is adorable let me go this way just tilt your head. <laughs> I can't move the camera. You tilt your head. <laughs> it's the kind of channel I am. Oh my gosh. And it came with two? Two photo cards? Ooh. I only loosely looked at this 
when she had like requested that I buy it for her. <laughs> oh. oh, how cute. Oh my gosh, these are adorable. Oh, my Monster X collection. We be struggling. I cannot be out here collecting his champion, but now I kind of want to. Look how cute he is. Okay, let me put him back. Stop. Don't look at him. Don't look at him. I'm going to put the cutest one on top. Because, like... Okay, yeah. Okay, yeah. <laughs> let me not. Let me get out of this. <laughs> okay. And this envelope is, like, thick, too. She's sturdy. Okay, so I'm going to set this aside for my friend. But this was what was the lurk. Because I was like, what the heck is this? Okay, now let's get into this mountain of photo cards. There should be one more card in here for my friend. But the rest of it... <laughs> Shy did some damage. <laughs> Shy did some damage in Indonesia. So I have three distinct stacks here. Let's start with this one because it is just a singular item photo pack thing. Oh, okay, let's just... Can I take the tape off? Uh, okay, yeah. Ooh, oh, oh, Jesus, okay. So I did order, of course, like of course, of course, Tens Wavy Miracle <laughs> photo card because like, look at him. Like, look at him. <laughs> oh, I miss Tens so, so, so much. I miss all of Wavy, honestly. And I guess it comes with this sticker. Look at them. I miss Wavy so, so, so much. There is more cards to this, but I had to buy them separately. So this is just the first one we have. I'm going to just, yeah. <laughs> but the stickers can go back in here. I don't know what I'm going to do with the stickers yet. Okay, next up, this is all my Korean stuff. And I'm pretty sure this is my Indonesian stuff. So these are things that I ordered either from Becca herself because she hosts a lot of group orders or, um, well, it's less of a group order, more of she like buys stuff and then resells it. Um, so yes, got a lot. Oh, ah, no, it's so cute. I just want to get, give me, ah, ah, give me. Oh, I'm trying not to bend him. Come out. Oh, look at Young Tay. Look how cute this is. There was just no way I couldn't just not own this card. Like, look at it. I love it so, so, so much. And look at the back of that. It is so colorful. So, yes, this is the photo card that came with the plushie over there. Honestly, even if it didn't come with a photo card, I would have ordered that plushie. It was just so, so cute. Okay, and... Next up, this was just one of the things she had on hand and was selling. So this is Taeyong's regular, irregular, regular version, I do believe. Pretty sure. I'm slowly getting Taeyong's older cards. I think I only have like four or five left to go. So I'm not rushing on it at all. This just popped up and like he was like six bucks. So I was like, heck yeah, I'll take him. Absolutely baby okay so then I got some SMCU stuff so I got Tano oh I wasn't sure if I wanted to collect both Shotaro and Ten for the SMCU stuff especially the SM version but he actually ended up being a really really reasonable price so I was like well for seven dollars <laughs> this is his one from the NCT version I think the daytime and then I am pretty sure not a hundred percent that this is his SM version but I could be wrong about that just gonna, just gonna be honest but look how cute he is I was like yeah go ahead and give me the set Becca if you could please <laughs> go ahead Becca I'll just take the set <laughs> thank you oh and then of course I already have tens um ID and NCT version, but I needed his SM version, so of course I was going to pick up 10s. I think that is all for the SM stuff. So 
I found this set on Boondong and it had Minky's 2022 Seasons Greetings PC, which heck yeah. And then it also came with three album cards. I am done with epilogue era, so I don't actually need any of these cards, but I will see if my friend needs them. But the whole set was like $18. I am not joking. It was like $18. And I was like, wrap it up. Like, come on, ship it. Let's go. Shipped. Let's go. So the next thing I got um, is this Songhua Pop. So this is from Makestar 4.0E. I think there was two Makestar 4.0s, one of them in person, one of them online. This is from the in-person fan sign. I actually bought this card, I am not kidding you, four times. Because initially I couldn't find Hongjun or San. So I was like, okay, I'll buy two extra Songhua since he's the only one I can find. And then I'll just trade him because he's pretty in demand since it was an in-person fan sign. I'll trade him for the other two. And then I found full set and I was like, well, let's just do that. So now I have four of this card and a full set. The things a shy does. Okay. Next, all of these three are from the same set. If you know who I collect primarily in 80s, you'll know exactly who these people are. But yes, it is none other than my husband, Hongjun, my son, Sunny, and my precious baby bear, Jong Oh. This is their K pop store, too? Possibly. I think from Fever 3, there's been so much, honestly, at they're hollow and they're beautiful. Yay, Fever 3 stuff. <laughs> and that was all I had ordered um, from Korea, some stuff from Boonjong, some stuff, uh, I bought that directly from Starship. Um, but like, yeah, just some stuff that she had on hand. And now let's get into this Indonesian stack. So the very first thing I bought from Indonesia and the entire reason I started shopping in Indonesia to begin with was these. So these are Ateez's um, Make Star Lucky Draws. For no reason at all, these are insanely priced. In insanely priced. I'm talking like 80 to 100 dollars or more each. Like no idea why. Our make star usually isn't that expensive, so I didn't pre-order these because I did not anticipate them being so expensive. But as soon as they started coming out and I saw the prices and then I waited and I was like maybe the prices will go down. They did not. They are in fact higher. There is one lucky draw of Songhua that goes for well over $300. And I was like, that is true insanity. So I was searching high and low and I found a person who was doing a go for these who still had spots and they were on Shopee in Indonesia. And I was like, Becca, <laughs> Becca, I need you to get me all of these, all of them, everything I can get. So from the diary version, this is Hongjun's lucky draw. I do already have his other ones. Um, from the diary version, no, this is diary. That was Z. I got to mix that. Diary version Hongjun was also expensive. This is diary. This is diary Songhua. He is so beautiful. And then these are all from A version, which was the one version I wanted to collect OT. These other two versions, I just collected my top four to make one eight pocket thing. You get it? Because there was three sets. So I collected one set of OT8 and then two half sets. Math. Okay. So <laughs> from the A version, I needed this Hongjun. Woyangi. I loved this set. It's so beautiful. Look at this Mingi. Like look at him in his glasses and his hoodie. I just... I just couldn't with the immaculateness of this set. So I was like, well, this is going to be my OT8 set. I kind of also liked the diary set, but I was like, well, choices were... Look at this Yuno, know, though. Like, I just couldn't not have this Yuno know, in my life. So that is what we did. <laughs> so that was the majority of what I bought from Indonesia. If, in case you're wondering, yes, 
I do also have two more orders coming from Indonesia. Just full disclosure, <laughs> this isn't it. But for the sake of this clip, this is what has arrived. And then I also um, needed a few album cards. A lot of them I was able to find here, but I was impatient when I ordered these. And then impatient again when I just bought them from somebody who was domestic. Oh, there's her Chan Kyun. Also, this is her Chan Kyun. It's a Urban Decay card. She found this in Indonesia too and was like, I need that. And I was like, got you, got you, worry not. <laughs> But yes, these are just um, a few album pieces that I could not find here. So straight to Indonesia I went. So first one is this Hongjun. I have since acquired six more of this Hongjun. So I don't know, maybe I'll just like wallpaper my home with him. But I still love him. He has his cute little glasses and his little Clark Kent sea curl hair. I love it. And then this Hua, which I apparently bought twice. Don't know, but this is his Z2 version. I don't know why the Z version, specifically the second set or Z2 as it's called, was so hard to find for all of the members, but especially Hua because he is in high demand. So apparently I bought him twice. This Song Hua card, which was also kind of hard to find, I went ahead and picked up. I still don't have this one, still can't find him. So I'm glad that I found him in Indonesia and bought him. And then last one was this Wuyang. I don't know why this Wuyang is so hard to find. He just really is. Like, so hard to find. <laughs> but he is from the A version. So now my album cards are complete with these three. We love to see it. So this is all that I got for my first proxy order in Indonesia. And um, I've proxied with Becca has too many biases before she is always great she's always immaculate if you're ever looking for anything definitely go check her out um here's both of their cards again this is the USA Gom, and this is Becca's actual card so definitely go find her on Instagram if you are ever looking for a card she biases NCT hardcore so need anything NCT like she's got you but okay this is the first part of this haul. I am going to send her proof pictures of all of this and then I will see you guys in the next clip. Okay, hello everybody. Welcome back to the second clip of this proxy haul. So I just got this package in literally like two minutes ago and like I've been waiting forever for this thing. If you don't know, I hate FedEx like with a burning passion and I didn't know when I shipped this package that it was going to be shipped by FedEx. But I will tell you all about this one. Let's get into it because I'm so nervous. So um, this order is from a website called From Japan. So they don't proxy for Mercari Japan, but they do Rakuma. Um, so the same as Neokyo, but I used them before Neokyo introduced their service to like snatch up some cards that I had saw that I knew were going to go fast once everybody had access to it. So I went, I snatched up all these cards. They are more rare cards in here. So there's not that many, but like the box is real thin and kind of beat up. If you can see, like I'm a little, I'm a little worried about it. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't. So I hope they like bubble wrapped everything in here. I haven't opened it. It came exactly like this, except for um, this entire box was like wrapped in plastic, kind of like an album. Like it had <laughs> vinyl on it, but it had like the FedEx label and like my dress and stuff all over it. So I took it off. So I just slid it out and then this, this is it. So we're going to open it together. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. It looks safe. It looks safe. Okay. We can do this. All right. Okay. Oh, it's like taped to the box too. Can I? And it just like fell out of this. Okay. I can't get it out. Good lord. Okay, well, that was secure. Never mind. I had nothing to worry about. So it looks like almost everything is in a top loader of some sort. So they're all individually packed. And then I guess they put it in this bigger bag here. So today we're going to be using my very cute box cutter. It's a set, y'all. I didn't mention it before, but it's a set. So 
Just know that. <laughs> Just know it will never end until these knives die. Okay, okay. So, you can probably see some stuff on... Oh, this one's not in a top loader. Okay, love that for me. But yes, so this is everything that I got. Not a super huge order for me. <laughs> for me. I know this is like some people's whole Neokio order. And I'm like, how? Um, so, let's start going through all of this. And I'll talk about my experience and stuff with from japan so first up on top oh i can rip it okay yay no i can't yes i can with a great amount of effort okay let me take all of these out of the bags first and then we'll just open top loaders because this is this is a lot okay i'm back everything has been b d packageified okay so we'll start with the larger stuff first so the first thing I got is this San photo set. I love it. So these photos are actually incredibly rare. ATS doesn't do a whole lot of larger inclusions, um, but these are actually their pre-debut photos. So if you know anything about ATS, they didn't really have a lot of stands when they first um, debuted. <laughs> So a lot of their pre-debut stuff and like early stuff, there wasn't a lot made because there wasn't a lot of demand. So um, there was somebody who did the whole Japanese graduation thing, selling off their entire 80s collection and were selling these pre-debut photos. So I managed to find San and Jongo's set on Rakuma. So I was like, oh, heck yeah. Heck yeah, I won it, picked it up. There is a horizontal and a vertical version for every member. I do want to eventually get them all, but for now, I just have these. <laughs> and another two big top loaders. We love to see it. So that was all the larger stuff. <laughs> Wasn't much. So besides ATs, the other group I bought for was actually in hyphen. This is Jungwon's Lucky Draw from Dimension Answer. Honestly, I had no business buying this. <laughs> like no business at all buying this, but here he is. I just found him and somebody was selling him for like $15 and I was just like, well, for $15. <laughs> ah. And then the next thing, I have two of them actually. So this is Heesung's um, photo book PC and hyphen dropped technically three photo books, one small one, a DVD one, and then a Blu-ray one. This is his DVD one. And then um, I cannot find his Blu-ray one for under $70. So that's going to be a minute, but I found this one for $40. And then like immediately after I found this one for $35. So I bought both and I was like, I'll just sell the other one <laughs> or trade it if anybody wants to trade. But yeah, I was like, let's get this lower cost one too. So that is why I now have two of these Hyesung Memories DVD PC. <laughs> so, in huh? So the way From Japan works is like you, it's the normal, you search for stuff and, you know, put it in your cart or whatever and check out but they only charge you the price for the item itself first. So they do have um, a $3 fee. So for everything you buy, it's an extra $3, which is not bad since Neokio was $2.50. So I was like, okay, I can do that. Um, but I liked it because they didn't charge you. These are Hisung's Japanese cards, by the way. Um, I like it because they didn't charge you, oh my gosh, no, um, their fee up front. They only charge you the fee um, before you ship everything out. So I really liked that I could kind of put off paying the fees a little bit. So I got his whole Japanese set and then this one is a pop. I'm missing one pop from this that I'm going to try to find at some point. And then I also, for no reason bought his son's passport set so they did um an in connect dvd that had a passport in it and i didn't buy it because <laughs> i'm trying to limit the like non-album stuff but like he is 
we're just not talking about it. So I did buy Hyesung's passport. Where's his little passport page? There it is. I did buy Hyesung's passport. <laughs> Couldn't help it. It's just so cute. Like, it's just so cute. So I bought his passport for literally no reason at all. Except for that I love it. So we'll put that in the larger inclusions pile. Now let's get into 80s. So I almost cut this Jongo card. Like, y'all see this? I was real close to cutting him when I was getting everything out of the package. This is Jongo's Oh What card from Fever 3. But it turns out I already had this card. And so I just bought this cute card for no reason. But he's so cute. I bought him because he was cheap and cute. Like, look at him in his all black. Like, that was a vibe. I was like, I need that at the cart. <laughs> But another thing I like about From Japan and why I ended up ordering some Inha merch too was that um, they have coupons. <laughs> Probably not always. This is Sani's Oh What card. Um, they have coupons. So they were like, if you spend $50, we'll give you like 5 or $10 off. And like there was like sign up coupons. So I used all the coupons. There was some that was like spend $100, get $10 off, used it, use literally every coupon they gave me. <laughs> I was like, coupons? Heck yeah. So in my mind, like, yes, it, up front, it made the item cost cheaper. But the way I thought about it was if I get $10 off of this item, it's kind of like I can buy it and, you know, it takes the cost of the buying fee, the additional $3 that I would have paid. So I was, I just kind of thought about it that way. This is Hong Jun's Oh What. I was super lucky to find these. The Oh What cards are so hard to find. So, the fact that I found all three of them, I didn't need all three, but, like, the fact that I found them, I might have two Oh What cards in here, by the way, because I, I could not find Hong Joon for the longest time. Like, right before I was about to ship this whole order is when I found Hong Joon. So, I might have bought two Sons in the hopes of trading. But this is Hong Joon's K-pop store one, also something incredibly hard to find. The other, I think there was like three rounds of K-pop store for Fever 3. Only the first round is hard to find. The other rounds can be found easily. This round, however, incredibly hard to find. So I have Hong Jun's now. I don't have anybody else's. I cannot find them. But of course, Hong Jun is always my main priority. So I'm happy I have his. Also hard to find is Songhua in particular's Oh What card. Like, his Oh What card goes for so much money. This card was technically $50 off, but I had, uh, $50 off, no. This card was $50, but they gave me a coupon for $10 off of $50 that I used to purchase this card. And I'm so happy about it because he goes for so, so, so much money. Like... This beautiful man really is the bane of my existence sometimes. So I was super happy to, one, find him, and then, two, have a coupon for him, because I was not trying to pay $50, $50 for that. Okay, next up, I bought this Jongo set. I have most of the stuff in this set, but the whole set itself was cheap. And I just needed this one card. I don't know why this Apple Music card was so hard to find. I usually don't struggle at all with Jongo. But he was just nowhere to be found when I was looking. So I was like, okay, I'll just buy him in a set then. And then it also came with one of his Tower Records benefits and one of his Dreamers PCs. And I was like, okay, I literally already have both of these. But whatever, it's fine. <laughs> now the next things are super rare super rare things so the first one being this so oh they left a note oh i do not know what that says because i'm terrible at kanji but this one says arigato good luck <laughs> sorry that one took me a minute it says thank you and good luck so this is jongo's um k-con polaroid so this was the first KCON that they had attended and they had these like cute 
Polaroid's KCON Japan. Sorry, I should mention that. This was a Japanese KCON. <laughs> so Japanese stuff, when it when it goes away, it really goes away. So these are super hard to find. I managed to get my hand on Hua's of all people first. So Jongo is the second. So I'm just missing Hongjun and Sans. And I just cannot even find Hongjun's. Whoever has it, they're like, no, I'm keeping this until I die. So no idea when I'll find his. Sans can be found for 100 doll hairs. And I'm like, mm, no, no, no. <laughs> so the next super rare, and surprisingly Polaroid, is also a Japan thing. And it is his rainbow pop-up shop Polaroid. When I first started collecting <laughs> was when these cards came out and they were so expensive. And I was like, I will never spend that money to get these beautiful rainbow Polaroids. <laughs> that is what I said, but that is not what I did. Two years later, finally got one. They are so much more expensive now than when I had seen them two years ago. Should have got it then because they were like 40 to 50 dollars back then. They're closer to like 80 to 150 now, depending on the member. So, should have got it back then. But these are just super beautiful rainbow Polaroid cards, and I love them. So, I'll be looking for the others, but for now, all I have is Joe Mo's. Next up is something I am super excited about. We are going to need the very cute box cutter for this one. So this is Hong Joon's winter PC. So this is one of his Make Star winter PCs from Epilogue. Yeah, I think only 200 of these were distributed to all the people who won fan signs with Make Star. And I saw it and I debated about it for days, <laughs> for days, just because there's so many cards that already look like this. But in the end, I was like, it's Hong Joon and I am at the end of the day going to collect everything Hong Joon. So I decided to buy it. It wasn't a terrible price. I had a coupon, so it made it 50 bucks after the coupon. And I was like, okay, okay, I've spent worse. <laughs> I have spent worse. <laughs> and then last up was something I should not have bought. I just... Mm -mm. no but I asked my friend I was like do it or don't do it like I was like no context do it or don't do it <laughs> and then she was like do it and I was like okay so let me just show you the front the front save this is a, a Jongo make star fan sign card I already have it this is not what I bought this for I bought this because it was from the same seller and if I spent a hundred dollars with this seller then I got $15 off. So this card was like three bucks. And then the other one was like $90 or something or 90, 95. And I think this one was five to get to like a hundred dollars with the seller. And then I got $15 off. <laughs> uh, I said I was only going to collect broadcast cards for Hong Joon, but this card, I just, yeah. <laughs> things I should not have bought but it really like look at them look at their look at <laughs> I should not have purchased this 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 is a dangerous road we're going down now so yes I bought this Sanhua broadcast card and this Jongo fan sign just to meet the spend requirement to use the coupon because I was like okay if I spend more then I can save and it'll be less than if I just bought this by itself you get it math yes okay so yes my friend 100% told me to buy this and I was like well if she said <laughs> uh, well if she said buy it so I bought it so this is the last item of this haul I do have more proxy stuff coming, more proxies. Overall, I really like From Japan. I think if you're not just like a fan of Neokyo's interface or whatever, because From Japan's interface is so beautiful. Like it is so beautiful, so easy to use, like perfect, stunning, immaculate, everything. <laughs> the only thing that I like better about Neokyo than From Japan is Neokyo will allow you to submit by requests and then you can check out 
all of the things all at once, which is better for me because if I put through a lot of little transactions, which is what I had to do to get these cards, my card got deactivated because they thought it was fraud for a little bit. And I had to like call them and be like, no, it's not fraud. I'm just shopping in Japan. <laughs> so I preferred that like on the Yokio, I could just do one lump sum payment or just like a few chunks of payments. Whereas I had to pay for every individual card separately unless they were from the same seller then you can pay for them together but if they're different sellers then they have to be their own transaction so it kind of made it difficult to use some of the coupons because although I wanted to buy stuff that met the spend minimum for the coupons I couldn't use it if it wasn't from the same seller so if I found something and I wanted to use a coupon I had to go and find something else from that seller's shop <laughs> And then balance out the math and make sure that it was worth it to buy an extra thing from their shop to use the coupon, if that makes sense. So with that, this is my entire From Japan order. I'm going to go start sleeving all of these things and I will come back to you guys when I have the next batch of stuff. Let's go. Hello, welcome to the next clip in this proxy haul. So today's clip is going to be super short. I just got a couple of things, but a proxy is a proxy. So this larger envelope came from a proxy called White Rabbit Express. And I both do and do not recommend them. Is my item here? Yes. Did it cost me an arm and a leg? Also, yes. So, uh, okay, let's get it out of here. Oh, that's nice. They put cardboard and a receipt. We don't need that. So, this is this is what I got here. This, this. <laughs> let's get our very cute knife. get off okay so I bought none other than more pre-debut photos of ATs of course did you expect anything different well you probably knew it was gonna be okay we need introducing guys the very cute scissors it was a whole set I'm telling y'all it was a set I really love it <laughs> so handy for so many situations when you need to cut something but it's small and you don't want to cut the item that is in the wrapper. Very cute scissors, highly recommend, highly recommend. Job well done, scissors. Okay, so yes, I got these pre-debut photos um, of AT. So I have your songs set here. And then it also came with this extra Jungo. So since I bought Jungo set, I don't actually need this one, but like, who's complaining about more Jungo? not I. So this was all I got from White Rabbit Express and guys the fees were so high. I would only really recommend this service if there's just like one one thing you need and that thing cannot be gotten any other way and honestly only if that thing was like I'd say over a hundred dollars would this be worth it because this set um from the seller was only like 15 bucks. But um, because it was on Mercari, White Rabbit Express charged me an extra $10 to buy it. So that became $27. And then they charged me a shipping fee to them, which was another $5. So now we're at like $33 for $15 photos. And then <laughs> I had to get it shipped to me which was another 20 bucks. So we're looking at now $50 photos from $15 photos. So like, uh, yeah, yeah. Hello everybody, Future Shy here. I just had to come defend my honor because I have three whole finance degrees and clearly can't do math. <laughs> No, but I think somewhere along the way, I got mixed up between what I paid in Japanese yen and then what I paid in dollars. So let's just ignore all that and just know I paid a little over 50 American US dollars for those photos. 
<laughs> and just ignore all math that Shai says ever at like 7.30 a.m. Okay, back to the video. Yes, they did get it. Yes, it arrived safely. So I can't say anything bad about them in that regard, but their fees are just so crazy high that it's just honestly not worth it um, for most of the things that like a normal K-pop collector would be buying because the fees on top of it would just add up to so much. So White Rabbit Express, like ugh, five out of 10. Ugh. So then this small envelope that just arrived today actually came from Singapore so I have a proxy who can buy from uh, Carousel Singapore. And so I did that because I found something I probably shouldn't have bought, but that I wanted. So you know how that goes. Okay, so what, what had happened was, <laughs> what had happened was, um... I love Hong Joon. <laughs> and in the pursuit of that, there was one Hong Joon card that I really, really, really wanted. Well, there's a lot of Hong Joon cards I really want. But one that I really, really, really wanted and was near the top of my prio list. And I found it on um, Carousel in Singapore. And that is, if you know this back, like, then you know. And oh my gosh, they decorated the top loader for me. But like, it's this. It's Hong Joon's Christmas winner's PC from Make Star. I love this card with my whole heart and soul. Look at him. He has little antlers. Like, <laughs> my heart. <laughs> my heart. So if you don't know, I am basically a Christmas elf. I love Christmas so, 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 so much. It is my favorite holiday. Halloween's a close second, though. Um. So when I saw that they had winner's PCs, um, of them during Christmas. I was like, I need that. I need that Hong Joon. I am collecting all of Hong Joon's winter species, but this one was near the top of my list. And I'm sure <laughs> if you can guess why I should not have made the purchase, it's because this Hong Joon is not the only one that I bought. I also may have perhaps purchased another one. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> I also bought Sonny's Winter PC Christmas Edition. I wouldn't say I regret this purchase per se. It's just that um, I already bought this PC. So I found this actually in Indonesia. And so now I have two of Sonny's Winter PCs. I have two out of 200 that were made. <laughs> So that's why I shouldn't have bought it. But like at first, the, the person in Singapore had them listed at 90 bucks for Hong Joon and then 125 for San. And I was like, no, ma'am. So I, I was just like, if you decide to sell San for the same price as Hong Joon, like I'll take him. Didn't think she was actually going to lower the price, I'm going to be honest. Um, but, um, she took two weeks to think about it and she was like on vacation or whatever. And she came back and she was like, yeah, I'll sell them both. Send me the money. And I was like, well, I can't back out now that I'm the one who asked for this. So I ended up buying both of them. So now I have two of this one and I also have Jongos. So that, that's a thing that happened. I really love that she decorated this top loader and I really don't want to take him out. I might put San in here because I have an extra one. I don't know what I'm going to do with him. I honestly do not know what I'm going to do with him. We're just going to ignore that. It looks like she put some freebie. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh. I can't. Anytime I see Hong Joon, I can't. Oh my gosh. These are the cutest freebies. And it looks like she put some album cards in here too. I am not aware of such things. Oh, look at her. Oh. This all are so sweet. I'm going to have to send her a message and let her know that everything got here and everything is super cute. But yeah, it looks like she just sent me some album cards. And I'm like, okay. Oh, they're all gin. Oh, my baby. My baby. She put my baby. I can't. Okay, random album cards. I'm not mad at it, though. Honestly, not mad. These are super cute. I'll have to thank her. 
but yeah the only things I bought were these two so everything else is just kind of a freebie and that is all I got for my proxies today I still have more proxy stuff coming so don't worry guys all the proxies out there like anything anybody I could order from I did I couldn't order with Japonica because they're not taking any more orders apparently they got flooded after Neokio shut down everybody went to Japonica so they are not taking on any new stuff so I couldn't order with them but I did order with a couple of other places so let's go to that <laughs> 